Welcome back, guys. Seven Child Brothers Love here. What's up? Uh, today's a cold day here in Minnesota. Got a lot of snow. As you can see, lots and lots of snow. And uh, yeah, it's getting real cold. And today, today's a really nice day. Uh, as you can see, I got my birds back from Utah. Woo! Uh, sent a team down to Mike Jones, my buddy Mike Jones in Utah, and then uh, brought, asked him to bring back, send back my winner. So hopefully I can uh, bring some uh, winners with these two. And then I'm also going to show you guys a bird that I also got back from a good friend, uh, Sam Haslam. Uh, it was a gift bird to him, and then uh, he said he was cutting down real hard, and he was like, hey, do you want your bird back? I'm like, huh. You don't have to ask. Ship him. I'll take him. So I got him back too. I'll show you guys him as well. Um, very beautiful bird. Inbred Turcon. So um, yeah, I'm excited, man. Come on, let's go. I'm going to show you guys the birds and get them fed in water. So let's go check out some birds, guys. All right. So I just pulled out uh, the first bird off on the box. This is Base City Combine 564. Five, six, four. Wow, she's a nice small hen. A little bit pied, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Check this out. Flights are a little bent from shipping. So five, six, four here. Five, six, four here was raced at my buddy Mike Jones of, U of Utah. He raced under the UVI club, the Utah Valley Invitational Club. They flew eight races. I told Mike, Mike, if these pigeons look good, week after week, you keep shipping them. Send them all. So, so the two birds I got back today went to all eight races. Look at that. One pin. That's a beautiful small pin. This hen here is actually a first place winner too in the club. In the club, she won first place on the uh, 320 mile race. It was a tough, slow day. Uh, she won first club, and I think she won uh, 12th in the whole concourse. She lost to one loft, uh, Mr. Mike Facio. And it was low speeds, 1,100 yards. And this hen won the club. That's awesome. So the sires of my Royal 256, that's a full brother to a uh, Triple King. Uh, Dam is 984, which is uh, a full sister to my Black Gold Money winner. Equal First Money winner. So this is pretty cool. This is a great granddaughter of Turcon. And a granddaughter of my Bulldozer's Beauty. It clicked. It clicked. In Utah, that Turk bulldoes across, and yeah, full, full brother, uh, won the pigeon show I mentioned in my last video in uh, in Indiana for my buddy Joshua down there. <laughs> so this is pretty dope. This is cool. Uh, it's nice to uh, uh, bring a bird back. Uh, that had that race in all eight races. It was the top ten percent uh, on a tough three twenty. That's pretty cool. All right, this is five six four. Beautiful hen, beautiful blue blue bar pie. All right, and the second bird here's uh 
United 162. All right, 162. This is a cock. Good medium sized cock. Long neck. That's one thing I realized. Yeah, so this bird, again, flew Mike, flew all eight races. Made it back all eight races in Utah. This guy's very, he's a fighter. Look how he's observing. Great trait. Very nice tail back. Very beautiful tail back. <clears throat> so this is one of the line bread pairings I did this year. Ooh, yeah, one of the line bread pairings I did this year too. This uh, 162 is a product of a great grandfather made it back to a great granddaughter. And uh, yeah, I'm surprised it worked. He's a uh, Icon Hofkin on top. In the bottom, he's uh, Icon Hofkin, my Turk family, and uh, Cannibal. Look at that, look at how he's looking around. While I was recording the first bird, you know, he would not sit still in the box. He was always moving. He's fighting my hands. This guy's looking around, very observant. That's pretty cool. Yeah, five, six, uh, no, uh, one, six, two here. Uh, flew all eight races for Mike. <clears throat> he finished 10th on the concourse on the final uh, 345 mile race. That's pretty dope. Very awesome bird to do so. So I'm, uh, like I said, these birds can do it. I know this family can do 300 plus, uh, 300 plus miles. I know they can do it. Yeah, awesome bird. This is a uh, very nice. I think once he kind of fills back up from uh, recover from shipping, might be a big bird. Look at that, look at that fight. This guy's a nice pro eye too. But yeah, 162 guys, awesome bird. 10th place, 345 mile. Product of a great grandfather, great granddaughter mating. The, the sire's a very great breeder. And the dam was a, a very great racer herself. So, very, very cool. Love to always bring back my race winners. All right, let's go get this guy's fed and watered up. True from the future here. These two birds, 162 and 564, actually raced nine races. I rechecked again. The reason why I said eight was because on the concourse there was eight races, but in the club there was nine. So these two raced nine races total, raced over 2,000 miles, and, you know, plus the countless miles uh, that Mike was down the road <clears throat> in between the races. So that is something. 2,000 miles on the wings, that's just the races, nine races in the club, eight races Qualified in the concourse. That's a lot of mileage. That's a lot of races. I like that. All right. Back to the past. All right, guys. We're in the cock section now. Forgot to mention, uh, my two birds I got from Utah, 162 and uh, 564, they're related. Um, 162 is the uncle. 564 is the niece. Uh, they go back to the same cock. The icon Hopkin cock and the icon, and so that's that's pretty cool, man. That, that's that's pretty cool how you know uh, the family can do it in Utah. So uh, that's one thing I want to add. And uh, here I have 
my bird that I got back from Sam Haslam. Here's a 747. So let's take a brief moment here and just observe this guy in my hands. I'm not squeezing him. I'm, I'm just holding on to him real good just so he doesn't get out of my hands. Oh, look at that. This guy's a fighter. But yeah, this is a 747. This is an inbred son of Turkon. Made it back to um, Turkos' Princess, my Crooked River winner. Big wing spread. This guy is identical to Turkon, like I mean identical. Um, but look at look at those flights. Look at those flights. Six, seven, eight, nine. Look and ten. Look at those. Look at those last five flights. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, nice back. I was very happy when I bred uh, when I bred this round. Nice back, nice tail for inbred. And if you will stop moving. And back to being identical with Turkon. Very identical. This guy's just a little bit um, a little bit smaller. He's not as uh, bulky front as the sire as Turkon. But look at this, look at look at all this. All white toenails, all eight. All eight are white toenails. Solid blue bar. This is pretty cool. So the, got some news. The, um, the nest mate, I give to my good friend Blickman Loft, Yang Bang. He has the nest mate. He has 748. This is 747. And um, he bred a bird, sent it to Breeders Fall Classic back in 2021, last year. Uh, a gentleman bought it in Ohio. He bought it and uh, bred from it, and he's in love with it. Kids are doing great. Uh, he loved the birds. He loved the kids over there. So that's a little. That's a little knowledge and a little um, results to bring back for me to work with this guy. I've never done uh, inbred mating before. And uh, i never done inbred mating before and bred from it yet. So this would be, next year would be my first year um, doing so. Check this out, oh, this is a very beautiful bird. Lots of fight, I like that, lots of spirit. Uh, sold uh, I did one round of this uh, this same mating this year um, sold them to China had an agent reached out to me so there's only four four birds bred like this two are here in Minnesota one is in my loft one is in my friend and two are in China mainland China Oh, that's pretty cool. Beautiful bird. Long, small, thin flights. Not so wide of flights. Yeah, so we'll see. Let's look at those flights again. Look at that. Eight, nine, ten are almost the same size, same length.
Very beautiful bird. Look at that. A night 10. Alright, guys. This is 747 inbred Turkon Sun. I'm gonna let him go. This guy's non stop fighting. Very observant. High spirit. Alright, we'll let him back. 747, guys. You guys are ready for breeding season. To the left, that's Turkon. To the right, that's Turkon Sun. <clears throat> this is my uh, giveaway bird when I hit a thousand subscribers. Big boy. Dark check white flight. Just like the father. Turkon. And that's the Icon Hoffman cock that I was talking about. Big blue bar white flying cock. He's uh, proving himself every year. His kids, his grandkids, his great grandkids. So that's the the Icon Hoffencock, that's the uh, Sire 2 162. 10th place uh, finisher on the 345 on the uh, Wasash Concourse in Utah. And then he's the great, uh, he's the Grand Sire to 564. 11th place on the concourse on a tough headwind race so good stuff in the loft good stuff in the loft two greats in the loft right here all right guys there you guys have it got three birds back uh hopefully like i said i'll be breeding them uh, using them in this uh breeding season so hopefully they can probably bring me some winners uh first time trying out inbred like i said so see how that goes and uh got two race two decent racers back so we'll see if they can continue to breed some some winners <laughs> as well and you know mike asked you know if i could uh, send the kids back I'm like definitely i can most definitely send the kids back uh for them to race so you know, i'm excited for that uh but yeah just I'm in the back on the head side. So, lights are on. They're getting ready. Should be pairing up uh, later this month, December here. Pretty cool. Alright, guys, stay tuned. Good luck at the Dash for Cash, Black Gold, Cuevas. The finals are coming up. And uh, good luck to everybody. Hopefully, uh, some troubles off us. Myself here, we can uh, maybe, you know, clock a winner. And uh, we'll see how everything goes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Seven Child Brothers Live.